Grounded is a survival game where you are shrunk down to the size of an ant and are left to the mercy of someone's backyard. The game has its challenges, from learning your surroundings and the creatures that live around you. There are a multitude of ways to excel at this game, and while there is no right way to play this game, this video will give you, in my opinion, the best tips to win at Grounded. Also, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on my video, and if you end up enjoying it or you found it helpful, please leave it a like. It really helps out a lot. So let's jump in. Your first steps. When you are thrown into the game, your best bet is to find your first weapon and start crafting armor. You have a couple of options. While it may be tempting to go for that pebblet spear, just know that you don't want to use it in the most conventional way. And it is because it does very little damage. Instead, look down to the bottom right and you will see the Huck command. Hucking your weapons deal a substantial amount of damage and can pretty much one-shot most tier 1 creatures. Your other choice of weapon that I recommend is the Spiky Sprig. No lie, by hugging this weapon, I got to the upper yard in my no armor challenge. I was able to take down a black ox beetle and the assistant manager with it. What's amazing about hugging this weapon is that it interrupts most creatures attacks. So taking down the infected ladybug at the haze lab was a complete breeze as it would not throw its bombs. These weapons are extremely cheap to craft and it is why it's a speedrunner's best friend. Now for the armor. It'll be tempting to craft that clover armor. While it's been buffed from the latest update, I recommend going for something that soaks up damage a bit more. The acorn armor is cheap and easy to get, but there is an armor set that's free of charge. However, there is a risk. The Rotten Bee Armor is a tier 2 armor set, and it is located in the Red Ant Hill by the first field station you discover. All you gotta do is go into the Ant Hill and just keep running. Keep going straight until you hit this ledge right here. You're gonna want to jump up on it, and you will find the first piece of armor. Next, you're gonna want to turn around and keep going down the red ant hill. Be careful of this hole so you don't fall down. And if you go up this tiny little hill, you'll be able to find the second piece of armor. Next, you're gonna want to go down the hole, and located by the fresh mint will be the last piece of armor. By obtaining this armor set, you'll be able to protect yourself from heavier attacks such as from the wolf spider. However, if you use my hucking strategy, you can go straight for the ladybugs, which are tier 2 insects. It takes around 5-7 to seven hits, depending on your difficulty level, to take them down. Also to note, you're gonna want to make multiple of these clubs, because while the spear, which sticks to the creature, it'll bounce off leaving you vulnerable. Just make sure to craft a good amount to take down those creatures. Speaking of creatures, there are a multitude of varying types. Each of them have a list of weaknesses and resistances. This brings me to my next tip. Also, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. It truly means a lot. I apologize for interrupting this video, but I just gotta say only 8% of you guys who are watching my videos are actually subscribed. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. I would highly appreciate it. Peeping Creatures Peeping creatures allows you to identify what they are weak against and, more importantly, their resistances. This will help you decide which weapon you will use. And it comes in handy when going against tougher creatures and bosses. Now that you've gotten that down, let's go back to weapons and armor. An important tip is for you to understand what effects or buffs your gear gives you. For each tier, there are three types of armor, light, medium, and heavy armor. The chest piece is the most important piece when you are combining armor. Making your chest piece heavy will give you the most defense. However, there are armor sets that have fantastic buffs. Take the assassin armor and the widow armor for example. With the complete assassin armor set, it has what's called critical chain. This just means that performing a critical hit increases the chance of performing another critical hit by 2.5% for 10 seconds. As for the Widow Armor, its set bonus includes killing foes increases the player's attack speed by 15% 
and gives regeneration of 15 health a second for 10 seconds each. This armor is extremely handy to have when going against larger numbers. Mix matching armor is amazing as it gives you a stack of buffs that can help you take down your enemies faster. And if you can see here, this just shows you how many debuffs your enemies are taking. Definitely keep an eye on those effects that armor and weapons give you. And like armor, weapons also have certain effects as well. Now, this is all fine and dandy, and you might feel a bit more confident to take on the world of Grounded. But I have one last tip, and I, I cannot stress this enough. Learn to parry. Perfect blocking is going to save you throughout the game, and yes, I'm also talking to my ranged people out there. Allow me to say that it does take practice. You may die a lot, and it may be frustrating, but once you've learned how to parry, it comes naturally. If you are struggling how to perfect block, I have three videos that teaches you how to parry by going over the attack patterns of most creatures, and even bosses. I will link those down below, so go and check them out. But let's say you are incapable of parrying. No shame in that, don't worry, it's hard. You've practiced and practiced and just can't get it down, don't worry. I'll be coming out with a video that will go over different tank builds of each tier that will soak up enough damage to help you survive. If that is something you are interested in, then definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on it. Other than that, I am definitely going to call it here. I hope each and every one of you was able to take something away from this video and hopefully help you. So save yourself the pain and suffering and really take into everything that I was able to give you. Again, I appreciate you for clicking on my video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!